Just like 
It is so, it is so. God is saying, as you have said in his ears, so he will do unto you. Because you have come face to face with God in unforgettable encounter with the God of wonders. Praise the Lord. Let's open to Psalm 86. Verse 8 to verse 10. Among the gods, there is none like unto thee, O Lord. Neither are there any like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great, and doest wondrous thing. Thou art God alone. Praise the Lord. Sin will not be your God. Sicknesses will not be your God. God is here to move mightily in our midst, even today. Let's pray together. 
Father, we thank you, Lord, for this global crusade. We are here, Lord, in every nation. You will prove yourself great and mighty even today in Jesus' name. You did it on Thursday. You did it Friday, yesterday. Today, you will do mightier and greater things. Beyond our expectation. Beyond our desire. Thank you, Lord, because you know it is so. In Jesus' name, we pray. As you remain standing, we go to page three of our program. Christ, our Redeemer, died on the cross. Died for the sinner, paid all his dues. All who receive him need never fear Yes, he will pass, we pass over you. Chiefest of sinners, Jesus can save. As he has promised, so will he do. O oh, sinner, hear him, trust in his word. Then he will pass and pass over you. Judgment is coming, all will be there. Who have rejected, who have refused, O oh, sinner, hasten, let Jesus in, then God will pass, will pass over you. O oh, what compassion, O oh, boundless love, Jesus has power, Jesus is true, all who believe are saved from the storm. O oh, it will pass. We pass over you. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, I pass and pass over you.
we remain standing, let us close our eyes for prayer. Let's start by appreciating the Lord for what he has done in our lives and the lives of many around the world through the powerful ministration of the man of God for the past two days. Let's thank the Lord for what God has done. Thank God for the souls that have been saved already. Thank God for the backsliders that have been restored. Let's thank the Lord for all the healings. We'll be hearing testimonies of great things the Lord has done during this program. Let's appreciate the Lord, not only here at the Alpha location, but even online. We'll be hearing great testimonies, great things that the Lord has been doing. And it is as a result of the ministration of the servant of God that God has been using. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We are not going to pray for persecuted Christians around the world, especially those in Pakistan, those in, those in uh, Afghanistan, those in Iran, and even in Nigeria. Let's pray that God will grant them grace. In Acts chapter 14, verse 22, we are told, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. From this passage, God is exhorting all believers passing through persecution to continue in the faith despite the persecution despite all the tests. Therefore, let's pray that these persecuted believers will receive grace to continue to live for God. As Christ is alive, Christ will help them to live. Pray for grace. Pray for sustenance. Ask God to grant them sufficient grace, abundant grace. Think of what they are passing through. Imagine it so that it can bring compassion in our hearts to pray passionately for them. Ask God to intervene, especially in the area of helping them to remain faithfully to the end. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I say in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Already we have experienced the great visitation of God in the past days of this program. We want to pray for the vessel of honor that God has been using to make these things happen. This vessel of honor is nobody but the humble servant of God, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi. He needs our prayer. Pray for more grace. Pray for more of God's anointing. Pray for unprecedented power to come down upon him, especially tonight, the third day of this program, being the peak, let there be peak miracles, compound miracles, great miracles, great wonders. Pray that the Lord will strengthen him. The Lord will inspire him. The Lord will grant him more courage to pronounce the word of God with power, with authority, 
that will bring salvation, that will bring healing, that will bring deliverance. Let's pray. Those of us at this local location, let's be praying. Those online, let's be praying. Those of us, physical audience across Nigeria, beyond, in Africa, in Europe, in Asia, and all the continents, let us pray for the servant of God because we're expecting unprecedented miracles tonight. We're expecting compound miracles tonight. We're expecting greater wonders tonight because God's power is coming down. In Jesus' victorious name we pray. We want to pray for other ministers who are ministering in one way or the other that the Lord will help them. We want to pray that God's anointing will be upon those ministers. The Lord will help them in their various areas of ministration. Pray that the Lord will use them as they walk minister alone in music, in songs, and even those taking care of the equipment for sound, for light, internet, that the Lord will help them so that whatever challenges that are there, the Lord will grant them the skill, skill that is beyond the one they have learned in the profession, so that they will be able to rectify every problem, so that tonight, the message, the audio, the video will be sound. In Jesus' name we pray. Now we are going to pray for the participants. The participants of this program here at the Alpha location, online, and then across the globe. We want to bring them before the throne of grace. I want every participant to pray for himself or herself and also for our Jerusalem. Our Jerusalem is the continent where you are presently, currently residing. And so wherever you are, that is your Jerusalem. Pray that God's power will come down in those Jerusalem, in those continents, upon all the participants there. Pray for power to heal, power to deliver, power to save, power to edify. Pray with passion. Pray with enthusiasm. Pray with concern and expectation that God will do those things. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And amen. With all that the Lord has done and from all the testimonies we have had during this program and the past GCKs, we can see that our God is a prayer answering God. And so even this prayer we have prayed, the Lord have heard and the Lord have answered. If you believe that, can you say amen? Father, we thank you for this third day of the GCK. We thank you for what you have done in the past two days. And we thank you for what you are going to do tonight. Lord, we are praying for those who are persecuted across the globe. And we believe you have heard our prayer. And your word says, when we know that you hear it us, then you answer it us. We believe you will give them courage. We believe you will sustain them. We believe you will help them to continue faithfully to the end. And we are praying for your servant, your humble servant. Your servant you have been using. We thank you, Lord, for what you have been using him to do. And tonight, you will use him to do greater. 
greater wonders, compound miracles will take place tonight in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And amen. And amen. You are welcome to this meeting. Today is the third day of GCK January edition. And by the grace of God, it continues tomorrow, 5 o'clock, Monday the same, and Tuesday the same. God visited us yesterday, day before yesterday. Today is visiting us again. Tomorrow, by the grace of God, there will be global Sunday worship service. From all over the nations, we'll be connected to the Alpha location here in Asaba. We start by 6.45 a.m. in the morning, by His grace. Then, apart from that, by the grace of God, the minister's conference continue on Monday. By 7 o'clock, the meeting kicks off. By Monday and Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, will be the two last days. And we expect all ministers, all workers in every denomination, to be present in the meeting. Great has been God's visitation upon us. We expect every one of us here to go around to invite these ministers to join us. No doubt, there are many ministers here tonight from different denominations. And we want to recognize your presence here. God values your presence here. You are dignitaries, and we believe by the grace of God, this program is your program as well as the program of everybody. And we believe the Lord will continue to bless you. If you are there wherever you are, can you please wave your hand at me? God bless you. Can you stand up wherever you are for recognition? And for greeting from our pastor, Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui, and the entire world, the entire globe is really welcoming you. God bless you. Please be seated as God continues to bless you. As God continues to bless you. The Sunday worship service starts 7.45 in the morning. Prayer starts. And by exactly 8 o'clock, the meeting starts. God bless everyone in Jesus' name. Mighty God is spoken of as the one who giveth songs in the night. Songs in the night. Songs through our most difficult days and songs that soothe the soul. In the night when Paul and Silas were locked up in the cold, dark dungeon, God gave them songs in the night. They sang with joy and they sang with their hearts uplifted high. And these songs produce extraordinary deliverance. And they demonstrated God's might and matchless power to save us from the most dire situation. The prison walls were shook and their chains fell off. So as we sing together, no matter what chains and shackles may have bound you and limited you, I want you to trust God's word to set you free. And I want you to trust that God's word will set a beautiful harmony by the gifted psalmist from around the world as we bring to you the choir from states, regions, and nations across the globe, your chains will be broken, and God is about to visit you big time. Be blessed.
just want to speak the name of Jesus over every heart and every mind. Because I know there is peace, peace within your presence. I speak Jesus. I just want to speak the name of Jesus till every dark addiction starts to break. Declaring there is hope, declaring there is freedom. I speak Jesus. Your name is power. Your name is healing. Your name, your name is love. Break every stronghold. Break every stronghold. Shine through the shadows. In Jesus' name. In the name. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Taken back, everything that the devil stole from me. Yes, I'm taking back. I'm taking back everything that the devil stole from me. I'm taking back my song, my song, my health, my health, my joy, my, joy, my peace. My I'm peace. taking it back. I'm taking back everything that the devil stole from me. Yes, I'm taking back. I'm taking back everything that the devil stole from me. Yes, I'm taking back. I'm taking back. Back my song, my song, my hell, my hell, my joy, my joy, my peace. I'm peace. taking it back. I'm taking back everything that the devil stole from me. Now listen, y'all. One day old King David came home to the city called Ziglag. While he was gone, the enemy came and stole everything he had. But you see, David encouraged himself in the Lord, made up in his mind. And I'm on my way back to escape And I'm taking my property back Devil! I'm taking back everything that the devil stole from me Yes, I'm taking it back I'm taking back everything that the devil stole from me I'm taking back my soul My soul My hell My hell My joy My, joy, my peace my I'm peace. taking it back I'm taking back everything that the devil stole from me we all know that Satan only comes to steal, to kill, and destroy. And I must admit that there have been times it's taken away my joy. But I'm serving, Lord, is on the table today. His kingdom is under attack. 
And I'm on my way down to his cave And I'm taking my property back right now I'm taking back everything that the devil stole from me Yes, I'm taking it back I'm taking back everything that the devil stole from me I'm taking back my soul My soul My hell My hell My joy My joy My peace My peace I'm taking back everything that the devil stole from me Yes, I'm taking it back I'm taking back Yes, I'm taking it back I'm taking back Yes, I'm taking it back I'm taking back I'm taking it back. I'm taking back. Yes, I'm taking it back. I'm taking back. With a shoe of faith. I'm taking back. And the soul of the spirit. I'm taking back. Taking back my song. My song. My hell. My hell. My joy. My joy. My peace. I'm peace. taking it back. I'm taking back everything that the devil stole from me. Yes, I'm taking it back. Taking it back. You are taking it back. We are taking it back. Praise the Lord. Testimonies abound of great things God is doing our midst globally, online, as well as in this Alpha location. Time will fail us, but we just listen to two testimonies now to whet your appetite. And to let you know what God did for others, he will do for you. The first testifier, please. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The Lord is doing great things during this program. And we have testimonies here that we are going to share with us to the glory of God. My name is Dr. Dele ogufo I'm a family physician. And we have this testimony from this 15-year-old boy here. Let's hear from him. Praise the Lord. My name is Peculiar Chukunti. I'm a born again child by the grace of God. I'm 15 years old. Listen to my testimony. May God bless you. Praise the Lord. Yeah. This is my son. He's 15 years. Since when I give birth to him, he has been birth waiting. Since he has been birth waiting since 15 years now. When we came to the program, uh, Cam Grant, on, on the day that they started the program, when we just read there, he told me that, Mommy, this, today, as I, as I came to this program, I will not go back with this problem again. In short, as I've reached here, the problem is, short, is over. I say, Amen. Then after the program, we get, went back home. Yesterday, he woke up. I asked him whether the deep is, he said no. This morning, he woke up again. I check even his wrapper, everything, he did not bedway. And before, he would bedway three times in the night before they would break. But these two days, yesterday, I wanted to give him the testimony. I said, let me leave it here. Let me see the next day again whether he will bedway. I said, the Lord, I do is may his name alone be highly exalted. May the Lord increase the grace of our daddy in the Lord in Jesus' name. Amen. He has taken his freedom back from bedwetting. It will never happen again. Amen. Let's listen to the next testifier, Sister Rose Fibile. Praise the Lord. Children of God, praise the Lord. I'm Sister Rose Fibile. By the grace of God, I'm born again. I want to thank God and also share this testimony to encourage us as we are coming for this GCK that one day to God we also do your own. Praise the Lord. I discovered that last year, almost a year, which was almost a year or thereabouts, I discovered I was having a pain in my left lower abdomen. I don't know what it is. If I want to climb like a step like this now, I'll be feeling that pain. 
I did not just climb like that. Otherwise, like, I will injure myself seriously. So I don't know what it is. And I was afraid to go to the hospital to go and see the doctor. Because they were just ministering different things to me. And again, I discovered that if I want to walk, sometimes my tune leg, the tune is like, want to touch each other, see if, ah. I don't want to listen to some kind of ministration, see whether it's this or that. But I keep believing God. When I attend the GCK, they will say, check yourself after prayer. I will check. It's like the thing is still there. But after during that Bayesa crusade, people were just sharing testimony. And something came to me and said, look at these people. Say they have been attending the crusades. They didn't receive their own. But this time now, God has done their own for them. So that as I keep coming, so also one day too, God will also do my own. And after then, I discovered that that pain, I no longer feel it again. The one that I'm working, sometimes I have to control myself so that people will not, not understand. I say, ah, how is this person working like? Everything I've gone since after then till eternity. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We thank God for the miracle and the miracle will permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Everything has gone. In your life, everything will go. The choir, please.